Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today I thought we'd play a little bit of Neja. And we're hoping for... Well, I mean, I guess this type of matchup. Uh, mostly against a squishy god, and Hoi is a pretty squishy god. Now, the thing about this matchup is Hoi's passive is that whenever he gets crit, he actually can't get crit for a short period of time after that. But that doesn't work with Neja all, so we're okay in that regard. So when I alt, I can still hit all three crits. So it's kind of a weird thing where it like doesn't really work with Hoi passive. So it just kind of overrules it. But anyways, uh, we do not want to go crit in this matchup. Instead, I'm going to go Bluestone into Transcendence and just kind of go ability based. We're going to level up my one, most likely my two as well. It depends on if he's starting at blue buff or red buff or what. Yeah, I don't think I'll need my three quite yet. I need my two to help clear the wave, though. I might put an extra point at my one as well. This is kind of a tough matchup. But we could do it. We just gotta... We just gotta do good, that's all. Alright. He started tier two transcendence. No mannequins. Nice. That will make this slightly more fun. All right, we cleared the wave. That's good. That's his beads. Okay. I don't. I don't know if he expected me to use my rings there and slow him, or if he expected me to grab him. But now, when I hit level five, his ult's gonna be down. That's really good for me. All right, Hoi. I'll take it. Also, I got beads because when Hoi ults and then uses his stun, it's it kind of kills most gods. And I didn't want him doing that to me. So I would I'll basically just press beads and then walk out of his combo once he gets it. He is staying. He is not recalling. I should be able to get this red buff guaranteed. I'm about to get level five as well, so he has to get out of here. I think I need to get him a little bit lower health to do my combo. Hmm. But, yeah, if he tries to contest this, or if he comes out of his tower, I should be able to get a kill. It just kind of depends. Because right now my ult doesn't do that much damage overall. Okay, he's recalling. We have enough mana to clear the next wave, so we're going to do that. And then we might even go for our blue buff, just to kind of stay on top of our... XP and gold lead. I'm going to use my mana potion. Sometimes I don't if I know I'm going to back, but I'm just going to use it. That way I can clear this buff super fast. And now we can recall. Okay, we cannot afford transcends yet. Neither can he, so that's fine. Let's get this with the chalice. We do not need wards yet because he does not have mannequins and he can't take Demon King super fast. So this is cool. This is a cool start. He's going to get the timer. Oh, he's actually recalling. Which, if he's recalling, that's fine for me. Because I think these minis are up. They are indeed. Yeah, I like Neja. He's one of my... I wouldn't. I don't know about favorite assassins, but he's, he's up there in my favorites. Um, unfortunately, in duel, he's very matchup based. Like if you fight, uh, let's say Hercules or Osiris, uh, you're probably gonna lose it. Like I don't. I don't see a you winning that ever. Oh, has he not taken this? What? He never took his blue buff. Oh. Wow. I'm I'm amazed he never took that. But yeah, Neja's very matchup based. Whoops, we did miss that. Didn't use my beads. If I didn't have beads, I would have died there. And with Aegis, Aegis can work against Hoi too, but if he hits the stun and you Aegis right before. Oh god. <laughs> and you Aegis right before. Uh then you're still stuck in it and you'll take a huge amount of damage. I'm okay with that. I get transcendence now. I didn't really lose any XP or gold. There's no caps up. 
So, like, he didn't really get too much out of that. Like, these minions will get hit by tower, but it's not that bad for me. We have another port in our alt. His beads are back up, by the way. Unfortunately, it's like I wanted to catch him out with his beads down. But uh, the one time he was half health, he was in tower. And then if he's at full health, my combo doesn't do enough damage yet. Later on, it will. Uh, if depends on how much defense he gets, though. Okay, that's his beads. Well, <laughs> we might actually go for an early Demon King if he keeps sitting in this tower. All we have to do is uh, get wards and poke him out. That way, if he goes to Demon King, I just kill him. And if he stays in tower, then I just take it. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's, it's not very often where I'm the one getting Demon King against hunters. And I would only do that if there's, like, no other buffs to take. If there's buffs, it's just an easy way to get ahead. His escape is down right now. But I don't think he's low enough for me to do anything crazy. Yeah. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. We are going to get wards, but instead of doing it to defend Demon King, we're going to do it to try to take it. Because I think this Ho-Yi's playstyle is very defensive. And against very defensive playstyles, I think that's where Demon King is, is good. Good for the... For the game mode, you know? That's what it's meant for. I don't mean just like regular defensive. It's just like he's backing very often and he's staying really far back a lot of times. Here he's not. Might be able to get a bounce here. Okay, he missed. Well, all that way we don't take damage from his ultimate. I'll hopefully kill him. Nice. I'm going to put an extra point in my two. That way we can take this tower faster. We have red buff. This is good. That's funny that I was saying that he was playing defensive. And that was like the one. Like he came out of his tower and stuff there. Didn't go too well for him. But uh, I don't know. The, just the where he was was a little strange. All right. I believe his blue buff is up. And put another point in my three. Measure two is really good, but against range gods, the three is generally better. But it's not bad to put a few points in the two to take objectives faster. I was hoping for one crit there. A blue stone will stop his recall, which is good. And at this point, uh, there's not really a reason for us to go to Demon King until this tower is down because it's so low. I was worried this tower was going to stay up a lot longer, but it is not. It's going to fall right now. Whoops. I do have my beats, so we're okay. My ult's coming up. His ult's coming up. Oh, I'm bad. Might need a beast here. Nope. This is going really good. That's good. He also got Spectral. Uh, which I believe it does lower my ultimate damage. But considering that's the only crit I'm getting. I think getting Spectral against Nezha is a little bit overkill. It's overkill unless Nezha is actually building into crit. I'm mostly going power and pen. That way my alt just does tons of damage anyways without, you know, without needing to rely on the crit. Okay, last or not. I'm thinking of an item with 10% cooldown or just something generally pretty good for me. Maybe a crusher. Crusher could be good here with a nice lead. And we'll save our relic because I might need a sprint if he goes horrific. If it goes horrific, that would be very bad for me if I don't have a way out of it. I mean, I have beads, so that's okay. But still. Is he taking this red buff? I will say this Hoi is not taking any buffs. And it's so important in duel. Like, that's how I was able to get so far ahead. Uh, I took red buff, blue buff, 
XP buff. And while I was doing that, he should have went and taken his blue buff. Because once I stole that from him, that's just a huge amount of XP and gold that I'm ahead of him. I put an auto attack in between that three and my ultimate. I was hoping it would be enough. Unless you jump back in, why would you do that? Oh my goodness. Uh, nine minute game, you know what? I might try to fit another Neja game. Uh, let's see. I. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in the next one. So, see you in a bit. This is awkward because this is the same exact Ho Yi uh, in the same exact matchup. On the same exact gods and same exact skins. Um, so, uh, we'll see if it goes differently. Maybe he'll do something different this time. I don't, I mean, I, I guess we're the only ones playing right now. I, what's funny is I skipped a Q as well. But he must have skipped a Q as well. Like, as well as me, so. Hmm. We both skipped Qs. Yeah, maybe he'll give up red buff this time. Nope. I feel like getting my three isn't that useful at level three on Neja. I think it's so much better to just have the one and two. He's waving at me. Hello. This time he's going tier two Ichabal, so it is a different build. No mannequins. Which I appreciate. Although, um... Mannequins is more annoying on the magical ADCs. Still annoying on hunters, though. Alright, we spooked him. It's like, Ichabal's a good item. It's been nerfed. It's still good. But I don't think it's worth rushing without a uh, starter item. But if he can get it online, I mean, it could be good. Don't get triple bounce. Don't get triple bounce. That's all I have to do. He wants me to go in the hallway. I'm not doing it until after he uses that. The hallway is death against OG. He should have maybe went for his blue buff because now I'm going to take it. All right, nice. One thing I've always said about Neja is he does well from ahead and terrible from behind. That was so risky. I'm probably dead, but did I kill him? <laughs> nope. That's what we call the instant recall. <laughs> I decided to go for it since the last game wasn't too close. And hell, I hit it, so it was nice, but not enough damage yet. But yeah, Neja does really well from ahead. And I think the reason for that is because his alt can be used to initiate. His three can be used to initiate, you know. He's got really good chase potential. More so than a lot of gods. But when he's behind, you know, you don't want to be running into a fight. And your three kind of becomes useless when you're behind. Except for dodging abilities. And just poke. And it's just so dangerous to use. And then your ultimate just becomes an escape. Which is really bad. For fighting fights in the long term. So yeah. Alright, you missed everything. I missed everything. Both missed everything. But he missed his all. I did not miss my all. Only missed my sash. Alright. Where is is he gonna buy that? He probably is. He's probably gonna buy that. I'm still ahead, which is the funny part. Because, again, he didn't kill me. He got the assist, but it's not as much gold. Always nice to hit them with anything after the ring bounce, because the ring bounce reduces their protections. So, that's good. I might dive him here. I know his beats are down. Nope. Sad.
All right, pretty much everything's down. Red buff is about to come up, but I'm kind of low health. I'll actually stay because I have Chalice, now that I think about it. Plus, I couldn't quite afford Transcendence. I can now. And I want to wait in Fountain and then give up Red Buff. Okay, he's going for the Fancy Bounces. The Fancy Bounces. A lot of people don't know this, but I used to be a Ho Yi main back in the day. Uh, I still have like 5,000 worshippers on him, even though I almost never play him anymore. But yeah, I, I used to be a Hoi man. Oh, body block that so you can't take it. Bait out the bounce of the hallway of death, okay. Oh, you were so dead. Patience. Patience is virtue. In that situation where they have no escape, you just gotta wait it out. You gotta wait it up out until you got the, the ultimate lined up. Because if you try to go for it right away, you're almost always gonna miss it. But it is a hard ability to hit. Nice alt without the sash. It is difficult. But if you know they have no beads and no escape, uh, an opportunity does arise eventually. If he goes on me, that might be bad for him because of all these minions. Nah. That's like almost, but I didn't have any of my abilities. Alright, we should back. We have so much gold. I have overstayed my welcome. Plus, I missed out on some transcendence decks, so that was that wasn't good of me to stay that long that's all right you're gonna have to feed her on these coals this blue buff still up One thing you can actually do on this map is if you jump right there, you can actually see over the wall to see if the buff's up. I didn't do that here because I just decided to place a ward. So I can always know where he is. But it is a trick you can do. We are farming like crazy. I'm 800 gold ahead. It's weird maxing the two, but I just feel like it's good here so that if I get a kill, I can take the tower super fast. I was hoping for a crit there. That would have been huge. Look at that poke. Look at that poke damage. Absolutely nutty. Wait, Ickable Executioner? Probably not the best thing you could do. I decided to go for my alt first because he had beads, hoping he wouldn't do it, but he did it anyways. Doesn't matter, he was dead. I should probably put more points in my three pretty soon. I don't really need to max my two, but I mean, it's working out. I think what I might have to start doing is playing on East Coast because I think East Coast has more players. I play on West Coast because it's closer to me for the servers, but I think East Coast has slightly better matchmaking. I don't know what rank the player is because they hide their profile, but I, I, I think there is there is a matchmaking issue with these two matches. Which, hey, if you're playing Ho Yi, I mean, I'm not going to feel too bad. <laughs> I'm not going to feel too bad. Because then I already have a disadvantage of matchup. Or of just the tier of the god, you know? Oh, 
All right, that's GG's. Uh, I did try to skip a Q, that way I wouldn't fight Naja, or I wouldn't fight the same Ho Yi, but I guess he skipped a Q too, or just matchmaking. Both of us couldn't find a match, whatever. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other gods you would like to see me play. Um, here are the match details, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I don't feel too bad. He said toxic pick when I played Naja. All right.